Hello people, Mr. Atrophy here. I owe you guys an explanation. I haven't done a video in about three months. Um, in those three months, a lot of shit has happened. My fiance had been, has been diagnosed with breast cancer, had a surgery, it was successful, it had not spread but it was a more aggressive form of the breast cancer but they have new medications that know exactly how to treat it they know exactly what feeds the cancer and they know exactly how to block it so that's good while Beth was in the hospital my back started acting up and it got worse and it got worse and I thought I re-injured my sight from the surgery I had in September of 09. I had surgery on L1 and L2 and the surgery was only partially successful. But I went to the doctor, got a new one, the old one had moved, and I just assumed that was the old surgery site. Well, I saw the MRI report and L1 and L2 was the only spot that wasn't injured. Everything from T12 down to L5 had either, except for L1 and L2, either had a herniated disc or a ruptured disc. The tendons and all of that area on the spine are stretched to the breaking point trying to compensate. They found a hemangioma on T12 and there's measurable stenosis in the spine. I looked up all of this stuff so I know what it means but I don't know how it fits together and I don't know how it applies to what I'm feeling and all of the the loss of use of part of my leg uh, I, it's really hard for me to use my left leg I really my it's hard for me I can barely move my glute and my hamstring it is really hard to walk. I, I have to literally concentrate, okay, I want my left leg to move now, and then step with the right uh, move now. And it's, it's weird having to think about each and every step. I've got pain from the bottom of my rib cage all the way down to my pelvis. Um, spasms really bad. And then pain radiating down the back of the leg, wrapping around the front and going down to the foot. Almost always on the left leg when it gets really bad on the right. Coming up, I see the neurosurgeon and he's going to have some answers for me. I don't know what he's going to say. Hopefully surgery will fix this. Some of it enough for me to be functional. Right now I can't work. I can't stand. I can barely walk sometimes. I do anything even you know 15 minutes of cooking and it really affects me after that the next day. It's, it's much worse. So I've basically been sitting on my butt for a while and it's not fun. I haven't had anything good to say. I haven't had anything funny to post. So I haven't. I haven't wanted to rant. I haven't wanted to go off on you guys or in front of you guys. And from the beginning, I did not want this to be a mean channel. I've seen channels out there where it's just people complaining and bitching and talking about politics and all, all of that stuff that I, I don't want that to be part of this channel. But I have used this like for my pack when I went off of Paxil. And that helped a lot. So it might help again. I'm going to try doing videos. Um, I'm going to at least film some of my recovery and try to put something together for that so you guys can and maybe document my recovery I did a little bit of that when I had my nose surgery I wish I would have fixed the outside but 
they just fix the inside. I can I can breathe better. My snoring's not as bad. Um, I wish I could tell you that I've got a lot of videos coming up. I wish I could tell you that I've got good stuff to say or funny things to show you, and I just don't. So, that's about it. A lot of hard stuff me and my fiance are going through. But the good thing is if we make it through this, I think we're pretty much set. If we make it through her chemo and my surgery, hopefully that will have proved our relationship and gone through hard enough stuff where when we do run into problems, they're going to seem small and we'll be able to deal with them better. So there's a pretty good chance that all of the shit we're going through is going to make us stronger. And that's the way it should be. You know, challenges do make you stronger. Hardship makes you stronger, makes you tougher. I'm able to deal with the pain. It makes me an asshole, but I'm able to deal with it because of some of the things I've been through. I had West Nile. I had a headache so bad. I thought my head was going to pop. Seriously. I, I, They gave me morphine for my headache, and it didn't help. Um, they were short. They were about to drill a hole in my head to relieve the pressure when it started to subside. Um, and that that is my benchmark that is the worst pain I've ever felt I've also had a couple surgeries spinal surgery the nose surgery and that pretty much sucked too um, so my tolerance for pain is pretty high but I'm not the most pleasant person to be around when I'm like this and I'm so thankful for Beth because she's putting up with me she's a wonderful woman and I love her I really do and my greatest fear is that this is going to change us both so much that we're not going to be together in the long run but I hope that doesn't happen I don't think that's going to happen me and her have a connection that I've never had with another human being. So, thank you. And goodbye.